Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am advertisement for bloopers.com. Please subscribe to our channel. So as you can see, behind me, I have our all-star range with our rectangular silhouette. We have plinking boxes and an amazing berm. Hello guys, this is bloopers.com coming up front in the front of this video. Many people ask, how do you safely get rid of your CO2 cartridges? Well, I got the answer to that. <laughs> you nutcase, what are you doing? Who cares about polluting the earth? <laughs> I'm just joking guys, don't pollute the earth, that's a blooper. Roll film. What's up guys, Backyard Brothers here, and today we are going to be reviewing the Daisy Powerline 415. As you can see, it is just a beautiful 177 cal BB pistol, and you're going to end up wanting to buy one of these. So later, we're going to be doing uh, shooting tests to test the accuracy and the power of it, but right now I'm just going to give you some specifications on it. It is a 177 caliber BB gun. This specific Daisy pistol has a 21 shot built-in magazine. The marketed velocity of this pistol is 500 feet per second. Yes, 500 feet per second. It has a smooth bore barrel, a manual trigger block safety. It has fixed blade and ramp sights. With no CO2 or BBs in it, it weighs only one pound. Overall, it is 8.6 inches in length. And it is powered by a 12 gram CO2 cartridge. So a couple of things that I love about this pistol are, I love that it has a fiber optic sight which just really makes shooting a lot easier for me. I also love the built-in magazine so you don't have to worry about dropping any other magazines or whatever. Now we're gonna show you how to insert a CO2 cylinder and BBs. So first, before you install the CO2 cartridge, you gotta know where it goes. Hides right there in the grip. So now that you know where the CO2 compartment is, select your CO2 cartridge of choice, slide it in nose first, and start screwing. Once you feel slight pressure, then squeeze really fast so you don't lose any CO2. Now we're going to load the BBs. Slide the tab all the way up and push it over to the side in order to lock it in. Then select 21 BBs and load them up. So now we'll move on to the shooting tests. One test will be for power and the other test will be for accuracy. So I'm going to fire about 10 rounds down here towards this vinegar bottle full of water. So let's see what it does. Let's go check out the damage. Man, those 500 feet per second BBs, they, they just did, they just punched right through it. Did they go out the back side though? No, actually they didn't. So never mind guys, it didn't punch right through it. But it did go through that first uh, thing of thick plastic and it was full of liquid. All right guys, so now we're doing the accuracy test. And so the sight picture actually goes on the bottom of your target. And so I'm gonna put this on the bottom of the dot. We've got this at about 10 yards. And so I'm going to fire uh, 10 shots out of this. I'm going to prop up right here on the table. And so let's see what we can do. I was grouping pretty consistently up high, but one did drop a little lower. Um, with all this power, it does shoot a little bit higher. So guys, I've really grown to love this gun. And I know if y'all get one too, which I'm sure you will, Y'all are going to love this too. I've never had a bad Daisy product. This gun is just amazing. I love the way it looks, feels, handles. It's just amazing. We'll leave a link in the description if you would like to purchase one of these guns. Me personally, I don't see how you go without one. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Stay safe and be home. Time for supper.